I'm Grimwit from NatchEvil.com. With me is my best friend, Chuck. Hello again, everybody. I'm still terribly sick, by the way. And Chuck reads books. All right. Yeah. Yes, I read books. Let's move on. <laughs> I used to use them as step ladders, but now I use them as books. Sorry about that. Uh, the local halfway house just called and asked if I could volunteer some time and fix one of their machines. Oh. So, Target now locked on. I'm more than happy to help them. Charity work, cool. Uh, they're good people. Target is just now because you have a lot of major problems and probably they're entirely all your fault, you, you should still help people. <laughs> uh, I am now in Rolk's Drift. Okay. That's all you missed. I passed through two systems while you were uh, yeah. on the phone. He heck yeah, you did. I see that. Very nice. Uh, my only worry is appearing on the other side of the system and suddenly finding out that there's like a billion guys with guns. <laughs> yeah, they. you would explode. Yeah. 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 I wonder what they're doing now. I have no idea. I'm going to check. Okay, you check on homestarrunner.com. Oh, interesting. Um, according to this, the site hasn't been updated since December of 2010. Huh. I can hear... I, I can actually hear it coming through the speakers. Those are my headphones. They're up pretty loud. If I can hear them through your head and out your mouth, I would say it's up pretty loud, Jack. <laughs> it is. I was agreeing with you. It's up pretty loud. <laughs> um, I, once again, <laughs> I'm falling back on the tired excuse because I'm not feeling great. Oh. Yep. So I'm bored and I'm going to take a drink. Well, fake drink. How was your fake drink? Did it Entering taste good? System. Three worlds. Well, see, when I take my fake drinks, I always take uh, fake Hornsby's hard apple cider. Oh. And it is the best of the fake ciders that I know. With, with exception, I have had a homemade fake cider, and that stuff was really good. Well, I'm currently drinking some uh, fake orange juice. And I had some pretend potatoes for lunch. So, Pretend potatoes. Ooh, I like that. It's so much better than fake potatoes. Oh, man. The, no preservatives. Can you believe that? How many calories? You, it's ridiculous. You know, it's zero. That's and pretty when I, ridiculous. When I saw that, I freaked out, and I had to dial the number on the back of the box. And I called him, and I got this lady. I was like, this thing says zero calories. And she was like, yeah, it's pretend. And I was like, sweet! And she was like, awesome! You know, with the way the economy is going nowadays, uh, everybody should eat, and will eat, pretend potatoes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Political joke. You just made me sad. <laughs> well, the, the more you get involved in anything, the less fun it's going to be. Uh, for example, I know for a fact that you enjoy a good rape joke every now and then. <laughs> Wait, did you say rape? Entering yep. System. Okay, I thought you said rake. And rake jokes are not funny. You cannot make a funny rake joke. <laughs> oh, I see. I didn't realize you were so easily offended by the word rake. Hey, hey, my mom was raked. She was in a pile of leaves. She didn't know who oh. it was. Some guy came up with a rake Oh man! and Look, raked her. Uh I'm so sorry, I had no idea. Um, is there any way I can make this up to you? Sex if would you be nice. <laughs> Forceful sex. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> oh, it's why I love you. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, almost close enough to lock onto these bastards. There we go. Okay, this guy's totally going down as soon as I get rid of this grid. And as soon as I can get close enough to him to shove some plasma up his nose. Hmm. I'm gonna rake him so hard. Oh. All I know is if you start firing plasma up people's noses, my nose is shot right now, so that might clear it up. 
but whatever you do, I guarantee you, if you try to rake me, I'll kill you. Just saying. You know what? I, I take that back. Uh, Char uh, yeah, um... Charles, uh, George Carlin once said that anybody can make a funny rake joke. Just imagine uh, Elmer Fudd raking Daffy Duck, was it? I know I got that wrong. I, I look forward to your comments correcting me. Uh, let you me deserve them. You are only three-fifths of a person. So, Dude, I'm not black. Uh, I'm going to have to edit that out. Dude, okay. it's not like I'm a woman. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's not nice, dude. Women are so much better than minorities. And I won't, <laughs> I won't sit here and let you make fun of women. At all. I mean, you can make fun of the color of their skin, and you can make fun of their culture all you want. But do not make fun of my women. Because that, my friend, is inappropriate. Uh, I am at Ringo Moon. I should be headed, what, east? You need to go east to Argon Prime. And then you're there. How long have we been doing this, man? Oh, maybe 45 minutes at this point. Yeah, I'd say right about 45 minutes. All right, well, there we go. Whoa, God, oh shit. Oh, no, 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 don't enter, don't enter. What? Shit. So what's the non-verbose way of saying shields critical? The non-verbose mode. Shield of, of just a two-word phrase? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, verbose means there are too many words. We, we discussed this. So we need the non-verbose way of saying shields critical. Well, that's pretty bad news. So that would probably the computer would probably just drop the f bomb really loud. <laughs> no, fuck. Pretty much. Okay, we are now in Argon Prime. I don't know why Argon Prime is called Argon Prime. I assume it's because it's the first Argon establishment. I yeah, I, I think that's about right. But then at the same time, Optimus Prime is not the first Optimus establishment. So, I don't know. Well, wait. What what was the first Optimus establishment? Connection to local trading network. I will Google it. Um, as leader or like his father? Either. Let's start with father because I'm pretty sure that Megatron is Optimus Prime's father. Okay. Also, I should probably inform you that according to this, um, Optimus Prime is the leader of the Autobots. I did not know that, because I have never seen Transformers ever. Really? Oh, see, from my understanding, um, it's pretty simple. You see, Autobots wage their battle to fight Decepticons. Why? Well, the Decepticons really made off like a bandit with subprime mortgage loans. <laughs> so and cheated, I mean, cheated hundreds and hundreds of people out of their life savings. Um, they're really unscrupulous. They have ties, but they, re they refuse to wear tie clips. Oh, okay. Apparently, Optimus Prime did have a father. What? Yes, and he was killed by Megatron. Oh, well, no wonder he's in so much trouble. This is in the Autobots game for the Nintendo DS. Oh. But it's, considered, but it's considered canon. Screw your canon. I want to see laser pistols. Okay. You. Uh, you. All right, Chuck. Uh, we're about to hit a cutscene. You're going to have to shut up. Now, I need to talk to this person, and I actually do talk to them. Of course. But I don't. Int you, you should not answer back to me until I say, Chuck, it's okay for you to talk again. Ready? Going on mute now. All right. <clears throat> so, contacting the Argon Titan, dude. It seems you've become a wanted man. I've got a message from the pilot of the Argon One carrier that somebody aboard that ship wants to talk to you. Please fly to Sector for Wall and report to the Argon One. What the heck was that about? Okay, Chuck, you can talk. So okay. I'm a. So apparently I'm an. A wanted man, and I need to fly to Sector the Wall. He actually said that. He said, you need to fly to Sector the Wall. So where yeah. is Sector the Wall, Chuck? 
it's east of Argon Prime. I took the liberty of looking that up for you. It's the very next one to the east of Argon Prime. You know, this guy thinks he's all that, but I can tell you, all in all, he's just a, another brick in the wall. Oh. That would have been great if his name had been Brick. Oh, no, if his name was Rick, even, that would be even better. <laughs> Brick! I love it! I want to name my next kid Brick! Robin won't let me uh, name him Anastasia. No. Hey, Portal 2 had frickin'... Wait, what? Anyway, <laughs> Portal 2 had frickin' Cave Johnson. So, if you want Rick the Wall... <laughs> <laughs> Rick the Wall sounds like somebody from Jersey Shore now. So, Chuck, while I'm fighting a whole bunch of bad guys, uh, did you get to see the latest Linkara? Not yet. The, the Game Boy one? Uh-huh. Not, not yet. I've just seen the title. Card. The the ending is significantly creepy. Really? <laughs> when did well, he start going creepy? I don't know. Whenever it's convenient to the plot, I think. Bandana. Yeah, that's his name. Dana Common Ban. This Com man. Common, not common. I'm tired. This man I named Ban better have a bandana on. Him. Or maybe, maybe in this society, the word bandana refers to prostitute. You think he's a prostitute? No, I don't. I just said maybe. Maybe he's a prostitute. He might be the pimp. That's possible as well. I would like to see the pimp. <laughs> I bet you would. Don't worry, Mike. I'm sure he'd give you a great deal on becoming one of his new family members. This is Argon 1, and I'm about to talk to this dude. Okay. So, uh, Chuck, go ahead and mute for now. I will still be able to hear you, but yes, I will mute the mic. The mic. <laughs> you, you can laugh along then. Alright, let's yeah. do this. Mute. Uh, calling Argon 1, or Argon Prime... You! This is Argon Uh, good. I, I need to show some very old log files to somebody aboard. I see. Also, surrender. You call that a bandana? Oh, who are you? <laughs> well, maybe. What's it to you? Well, what do you know about him? We have monitored your every movement in this universe. Ever since you first met the Talad here, you have been the subject of the greatest scrutiny. God, you guys must have been bored. So, you know who I am. At first, we suspected you may be a Xenon spy. But then, after your contact with the Gonas, we became convinced that you really are who you claim to be. So, somebody finally believes me. Why should I care, except that I actually really do care because I want to return home and there's no other choice, but why should I care? Maybe because you don't want to see Earth destroyed. We have reports of a buildup of Xenon forces deep inside their own sectors. For some time, we believe that they were poised, ready to attack our own sectors. However, the existence of this jump gate changes things. Okay. So, who are the Xenon? Oh, Jesus. So, there's an actual Argonopedia? Escalated, culminating in the 
In retaliation for this attack, the Argon had no choice but to declare war on the Xenon. This war became known as the Xenon Conflict. The Argon Federation looked to their allies, the Paramid, for help. But after much debate and discussion, in 230, the Emperor of the Paranid finally refused to join the war, and relationships between the two races deteriorated. Between the years 230 and 255, the Xenon increased their attacks, and the Argon Federation lost battle after battle. Many space stations and colonies were lost, and the Xenon took more and more Argon territory. However, the tide turned around the year 255 when the Argon Space Fleet enjoyed a number of spectacular and daring victories. <laughs> Slowly, sector by sector, they forced the Xenon back to their own frontiers and regained lost Argon territories. By 219, the Argon had succeeded in forcing the Xenon from all Argon Federation territories, and the attackers finally retreated back into deep space. In 300, an Argon deep space fleet was dispatched in an attempt to discover the Xenon home territories. In the year 323, whilst searching unknown deep space sectors, their exploration fleet came across a race called the Boron. In the intervening years, discoveries and explorations have led the Argon to the knowledge of the Xenon sector. Despite their defeat, the Xenon craft still appear in various space sectors. They are still very dangerous and shoot any other craft on sight. That completes the requested entry in the Argonopedia. Okay, spectacular victories. We can't see how dangerous this enemy is, and what a threat they pose to both our races. We figure that you know the location of the jump gate. For all our safety, it is a secret better share. I understand the dangers. How can I help? The Argon government has authorized a plan to seek out the jump gate and determine whether the Xenon know of its existence. If they do, we must consider launching a surprise attack on their assembled fleet before they attack Earth through it. I must try to save Earth! Before we do anything, we need to know the status of the ancient jump gate. And only you hold the clue to where it can be found. We would be most pleased to work with you to achieve the same end. The destruction of the Xenon. So, how do we go about it? You continue to upgrade your ship. Get the best laser and shield technology you can get. You will need it. Then you will explore the Xenon territory, to the east of the Argon Federation, and seek the wrecks of Nathan Gunn's fleet. Once you find that, you will have found the lost jump gate. Come back here and report the position and status, so we can plan a joint attack. Understood? Hmm... Understood. I will seek out the gate and report. Talk to the pilot of the ship again, and ask him for a support fighter. Maybe you can also contact the M1 carriers of other races, and ask them for support ships too. With a little squad behind you, exploring the Xenon territory will prove an easier task. I trust you will do your best. Bandana out. Okay, Chuck, you can talk. Yay. Now, I need to tell you, Bandana's bandana has spikes on it. It is probably the manliest bandana I have ever seen. Hmm. Sweet. Now, I hope that's a bandana, because it also would mean that he has a ridiculously tall forehead. <laughs> You'll see the video. And he also... Had a, he had I, a terrible forehead injury in the war. <laughs> that caused his forehead to elongate, yeah. Now, I would like to apologize to everyone who is watching this video. I had the voices turned down low, so it was hard to hear uh, experienced Navi talk about the Argonopedia. And yes, there's an Argonopedia. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and call it quits here. Chuck, I wish you well. I want you to get better. Ah, and it sounds like somebody already wants you, so... Yeah. I'll, I'll talk to you later, friend. It's been fun. Alright, talk to you later. And to everybody else, you guys have nothing but fun out there, and uh, we'll come back with the, the next exciting uh, edition of Old Fucking Boring Game. Herzah!